Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We are currently going through Exodus, and this is episode four today. Um, and it's entitled, Moses, a Picture of Baptism. You're going to see, as we go through the book of Exodus here, well, the, a lot of the Old Testament, but uh, the Bible, the Old Testament, it points to, to Jesus, okay? So everything is, is uh, pointing to to Jesus and you're gonna see what we talk about today where it talks about the birth of Moses and him being in, in the water and then taken out of the water and, and taken by Pharaoh's um, household you're gonna see in that taken out of water and his name it means out of the water it's all a picture of baptism okay so I wanted to, to go over that today and it's taken from Exodus chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn there, and we shall get started. It says this, Exodus 2, verses 1 through 10. Now a man from the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman. Okay, remember the Levites were the, the um, well, they weren't selected by God yet to be the, the uh, religious leaders, but um, this is, uh, one. Of, Levi is one of uh, Jacob's sons, and so this is the tribe of Levi. Um, that this is where this is taking place. And she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could not hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put, in, put it among the reeds along the banks of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Okay, so this is uh, taking place in Egypt where the Nile River runs through, and the Nile River is known for crocodiles. I have been to the Nile River, not in Egypt, but in South Sudan, um, kind of where it, it uh, starts from, really. It, it, that not, it doesn't start there, but um, it flows through there. And so, it, you know, they have crocodiles there, and the Nile flows through there. And if you look at the thumbnail picture on the regular dude walking in the word, the picture that is that shows the title and it um it you know shows the episode number and all that stuff that picture was actually taken um in south sudan overlooking the nile and the first day we had this up there was a guy from uh, south sudan who recognized it and said hey that's the nile river overlooking it in uh, nimali so that picture there gives you an idea of what the nile is like in south sudan and so it flows there. This is all taking place on the Nile River. Verse 5, Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She was opening it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of water. Okay. So it's a cell, it's it's a picture here of Moses being saved out of the water. Um, the water was a catalyst in in the salvation of Moses. It was placed in the water and then taken out of the water uh, by Pharaoh's daughter, uh, and then salvation came to him because um, he was no longer in the water, going to uh, die. But Pharaoh's daughter took him out of that water. Same thing happens in salvation um, with us and when we're baptized. Baptism doesn't save you, but it is an external sign of our change of heart inside. Okay, So when I'm baptized, um, there's several things it represents, but one thing is it, it represents I go down in the water, I am dying to myself. Okay, So uh, I go in, and then when I come up out of the water, my uh, another thing it represents is my sins are washed away and it comes i come up also dead to myself but alive in christ okay so that's what that represents so that salvation comes uh, through us today and is represented in baptism 
that new life that we have. So in the same way here in, in Exodus uh, chapter 2, where Moses had the new life and he was saved and brought out of the water, in the same way, baptism has that same representation. I come up out of the water at, during my baptism and I am uh, saved. It represents my salvation because of what Jesus has done for me. Okay, so hopefully that explains it. A good uh, picture of uh, baptism there. Thank you for watching. I'm a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Exodus. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.